Welcome to a game called Fishing North Atlantic, a game where we do a lot of fishing and make a lot of money. Sounds simple, sounds easy. Well, we'll figure things out. So we have our little boat over here, Mickey, our pride and joy. And we're gonna use Mickey here to do some fishing. Not a single cloud in the sky. Well, there's one, but that doesn't count. It's it's perfect conditions to catch some swordfish, don't you think? We have our lovely harpoon up front and we can go, you know, go out and stab him from our boat. Before we do that though, let's dock at Yarmouth here and let's see if we can buy something useful. We have $30,000 right now. Let's go to a town and let's go to the bar and see if we can actually find some fishing tips. Let's, let's see where the tuna is. We could also buy a brand new boat if we wanted the backstabber. I want to get the backstabber. That sounds like a very dangerous name for a boat. Oh, the coaster. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so big. Oh, oh, oh baby. Okay. We got... We want to get the Dexter. This fish is massive, man. That's wild. I mean, we're obviously not gonna, you know, buy a new boat right now. But we can upgrade our existing one. I mean, this thing is very cheap. Let's buy the best engine so we can be super duper fast. And we could upgrade our storage a little bit. I kind of want to go for the best one immediately. But I'm assuming like these things maybe stack. I don't know. I mean, they don't, you know, it like it's I, we don't have that much money. We know we gotta like think about what we're gonna spend things on. All right, let's let's head out. We actually do have a map here, right? There's the armad over there. It's a big old map. Now I got a tip for the tuna. All the all the way here, seven days ago. Man, that's gonna be very hard to get to. We do have an auto travel system, so what we can do, we can just like, hey, I wanna go, wanna go. Oh, I just didn't wanna do that. I wanna go here. Cannot cross land. Okay, so I guess we can, <laughs> guess we can only go in a straight direction. Let's leave this bay on our own first. We can drive in third person, we could also drive in first person, whichever suits our fancy. So we gotta leave this bay and we'll be able to use auto travel to travel wherever we want to. Oh my god, <laughs> look at the size of this thing! Can we get this? This this isn't a fishing boat though, right? This is a ferry. And I think that's a ferry or something. There's no way that's a fishing boat. But if it is, maybe we can buy it one day. So here we are, uh, we used half our fuel and it is the next day. This is not good because we are going to have to restock on fuel sooner or later. So they're around here somewhere apparently, right? Tuna 19 hours ago. A that's actually kind of a lie because uh, they were here a week ago. So they probably moved by now. So I don't really know if we'll have any chance finding any tuna. Maybe going straight into the middle of nowhere immediately was a mistake. Maybe I should have gone for some uh, smaller fish. So I spent quite some time looking around for tuna. I haven't found any. It is now uh, it is now almost 5 p.m. I basically scoured like this entire area over here. Uh, so far I've had zero luck whatsoever. But I think what I'm gonna do is we're gonna head back down, down. And we're gonna get ourselves some better binoculars. Because these seem super useful. Problem is I can't really zoom in that far in. Which means uh, finding fish is a little bit trickier than you might imagine with this. I'm gonna upgrade this. I'm gonna get a new tip. Ideally, we're gonna go for a tip that is kind of closer. Because having to take an entire day to get here, it does not seem ideal. Alright, we are back home. It is 2 a.m. Um, how are we doing fuel-wise? Okay, it's actually not that expensive. Let's get all the fuel. Let's get free fuel completely. I thought fuel would be more expensive, but it's fairly... I mean, it is like $1,000, which is a lot of money. But we have like 20, so that does seem fairly affordable. 20, what? <laughs> Two times zoom, four times zoom. I think we're, we just like want something that has a little bit more zoom, right? Do you want to go all the way to... Okay, I'm going to go for this. I think that seems the most affordable option here. I'm going to check that out. Thank you very much. I hope it gets auto-equipped. I actually didn't even check that. Probably should have checked that, huh? Fine, we are using advanced storage and we're also using the uh, best engine here. So that, that is good. That is, that, that, that is great. So let's look at our tips again. From a week ago, from three days ago, and tuna from two days ago. Okay, uh, let's let's try our luck with tuna again. You know what? Let's get both of them. Let's get both of them. Maybe that's a bad idea. Uh, three days ago, it's much fresher. And where where are they exactly? Let's see. So, so is over here. Tuna is very far. I mean, he was there all along, dude. Like it had it had to have been. So I'm gonna go for swordfish. I think because tuna seems to be super far, and. Like, it doesn't seem like an ideal plan. So we're gonna plot a course here automatically. And hopefully we'll get to the swordfish, you know, in time to uh, to catch them all. So we're basically here. I'm gonna assume they're hanging out near these islands somewhere, right? So let's go full speed. Get our binoculars out. We have a much better zoom now, right? Yeah, that's much better. And let's just look at the surface and find some ripples. Oh, dude, if you look at our sonar, there's all, there's all these fish, man. 
Look at this, so many. Okay, these are actually swordfish. Hold on, oh, hold on. That means we passed them, right? That that looks like a swordfish right there to me. That doesn't mean we passed it. Hold the phone. I didn't see any though. Maybe I shouldn't just be looking at the very surface. How far? Are we kind of went past that area. Maybe we should be looking just at the very surface, cause like they're gonna be near the surface, right? They're not gonna necessarily be like with their fins out. This looks like a swordfish, right? I can't. It's it's so tiny, so I can't really tell. But I have a feeling they're around here somewhere. Like, honestly, I don't really know how useful the sonar is, because we're, we're doing harpoon fishing right now. I, I forgot to mention that. We are doing harpoon fishing. That means we don't have a hook and line. We can't, you know, we can't do anything else except find stuff at the surface and shoot them with the spear. So still no luck finding any swordfish. But I gotta say, uh, I think it's a good thing with we'll future swordfish because I actually looked at the in-game wiki over here and it says harpooning is used only for swordfish. So me looking for tuna with the harpoon, uh, that was a big mistake. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. At long last, <laughs> it has been so long. I spent a couple of days out here. Oh my gosh, it's like, <laughs> it's August 8th now. Uh, we finally found them. Oh my god, I can't believe I did it! <laughs> it was so... Okay, it was so hard. I mean, that wasn't that hard, but uh, it wasn't great. We want to make sure we're still actually driving, but not super fast. We still want to have some, some speed here. And let's go all the way down to our work deck, and let's go here to the front. We get ourselves a spear! We can do some actual swordfish! Spear hunting feels good, man. I kind of wish we had a little bit more speed. Maybe if we get like more crew members, they can actually give us more speed. That would be great. Oh, they're they're flowing over there. I see them. How far can how far can we aim? I have no idea. Ugh! Okay, that's way too far. Okay, we are a lot stronger than I expected. We'll get them. Just give us a little bit of time. Oh, we got it. Oh, our first swordfish. Oh, really? Then be very careful. Very slowly, don't let the line break. Keep getting at it. Oh my god. The first fish at long glass. It's tired, it's exhausted. Get in here, you bastard. Come on. Oh, don't don't let it break. Oh, we need to like slow our boat down, I think. I think we're going way too fast. We went all the way over them. Oh my god. Where's my fish at? It's in the boat. So we have a big issue. Uh <laughs> we are actually going away. From the fish, I'm doing my best to reel it in, but the problem is, uh, we are, we're just like so fast. Okay, it's getting tense, make sure to like let it go. It's getting tired, you know? The more we do this, uh, the more tired the, sh the fish will get. It's gonna be easier. We, we just like, I wish we could just like stop our ship. If we leave our ship, by the way, if you like go back to the steering wheel, it will actually uh, let go of the fish. Oh my god, it's so far. I Did I make a horrible mistake here? I don't, I can't even tell, it's so far, dude. Oh no, man! Oh, it's gonna break. We need to stop the ship. Well, it it tore down. That's okay. You know, my mistake. Uh, we're gonna try again, and we're gonna be a little bit, a little bit slower. Oh, that was so close. Okay, okay, okay. Again, it's not, it's not simple. It's also not too complicated. Just gotta learn. There we go. Just gotta learn. Where to aim. I think we'll have a much easier time. We are much, much slower now. So I think it's very, very unlikely that the fish is going to go very far away. Okay, it's exhausted. Get it reeled in, son. All the way in. So we're running into the exact same issue. The fact that we are moving is causing us so many issues. I'm reeling it in as fast as I can. But it keeps, like, going further and further out. And I think we're, I think we're not going to catch it. If we go to the cabin. Yeah, it just, like, stops the reel. Okay, can we go back here? Yeah, it just stops real. So let's, I mean, we gotta, we gotta have to come to a complete stop. I think that's the only way. We gotta go there, and we're gonna come to a complete stop, and then we can do a bit of fishing. It's okay, we know where they are now. We have our whole day ahead of us. Plenty of fishing to be done. Alright, we are up front. Come on. Get him! Oh, it's, it's too far. Okay, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So the, hold, the longer we hold, the further out it goes. That's good to know. If you don't want to go too far, we shouldn't hold too much, right? Oh, we got him! Okay, this is it. This is the one. We're not moving. This is the one. Just just be be very careful. Be very methodical. Don't hold the line in too much. Don't let the line break. And we'll be in a good spot. This is not easy. But it's also not super hard. Oh, he's coming. It's a big one. Fish caught! Dude, that's absolutely sick. Oh, take a peek. Oh, <laughs> it's a fish! We got ourselves a fish. 256 kilograms of fish! That seems... I, I've, I don't know much about swordfish. 
but 256 kilograms of anything that's like 500 pounds that seems uh insanely good that seems like an insanely big fish maybe i'm super wrong but that seems real good and we'll catch even more of them because they're right around the corner all right he's coming focus slow down time aim okay it goes way too far it goes way above where i expected but he's right below me he's like a small dude though so maybe we should like just you know let him live i mean we got him should we like let the small we got him that's that's brilliant should we like let the small ones live i don't know maybe we have two fish right we got another one okay that one was a lot smaller the first one was a it was a big one i like like it i love it oh that was a perfect hit Twisted, you mad genius. Oh, he's tired. He has no strength whatsoever. Don't let it break. Be careful. Let him let him stop stop running. Let him stop moving. He, he's no longer moving. It's okay. Get him in. I'm sorry. It had to happen. Beautiful. I don't see any other swordfish nearby. 250 kilograms. We caught like a ton of fish. Literally. Well, not really. We have 323 kilograms. But that's... I, that seems real good, right? I mean, we're gonna do as much fishing as we can, right? Like, we, we're here. Might as well get all of them. I don't think there's a reason that we shouldn't. Maybe there is a reason we shouldn't. Oh my god, you mad genius. You're killing it, dude. Alright, we got him. And there's one more coming straight towards us. That's the last one, right? That's the entire, entire school. Oh, you fool. It was so close. Okay, he's gonna he's running away now. He's underwater a bit. That's way too far. Uh, we might just call it here. What's the time? It's only 9 a.m., dude. We have our entire day in front of us. The problem is that's the last. Okay, that's that's a horrible mess. The problem is that's the last school. That's the last uh, sort of we can see. So we have to find another school. So I'm gonna let that one go. You know, I killed all his friends. I'm gonna let him go. Let's uh, let's go f see. We maybe find like more swordfish schools nearby. I'm not sure if that's the only one. So I looked around a bit more and I didn't find any more swordfish. So I decided, you know what? Let's go back to our home port of Yarmouth and let's see if we can uh, sell some fish. I would like to sell my fish. Okay, the price is 22 per kilogram. The average is 25. We'll get like 20,000. I mean, I don't mean I made more money than I uh, than I spent. But what if we could like go to a different port we do have like one more port unlocked like over here i also unlocked dennis point i'm assuming we have to like just like you know keep exploring the areas yeah there's another port over there another one over there so there's a couple of ports on the map probably want to check all of them out and find you know the fast travel it's uh 4 24 p.m how's our fuel situation looking by the way fuel is at like this level if we fast travel does that actually cost us fuel did it cost us fuel I, it's about the same i think it did cost us a little bit which, uh, you know, not, I should have actually looked at the exact number, but uh, what can I do? What can I do? Alright, let's, let's dock here. Uh, yes, sell the fish. It's a better price. Okay, it's not much better, but it is a little bit better. We get 5,000 more, so we'll do exactly that. Sell all our catch at Dennis Point. You can buy equipment for new fish mates in the dog. That is brilliant. That sounds like a great idea. And we're probably going to do that in the next video if you enjoyed watching fishing north atlantic let me know in the comments it's a very fun game i would love to play more of it and uh, i probably will but yeah thank you all so much for watching my name has been twisted for honey better games now we'll see you next time